When we do sit-ups, when we test repetition tests for any kind of athlete, we know from videos that I've done on abdominal training that we use an ab mat and we have a full range of motion. I don't believe, and neither does anybody in the fitness industry who thinks about how muscles work, actually believe that you can just do abdominals with your body weight. But we need a testing protocol to use for repetitions because it's really hard to judge how much the upper body weighs versus how much pressure we got to put on the exercise. So first we teach the athlete how to do the exercise. So we'll do sit-ups. We do the normal sit-ups and what she's doing is she's doing sit-ups with her body weight. The more sit-ups we do, of course, the more the body's going to get used to it. So we need a testing protocol. So what I'll ask the athlete to do is to take a weight, in this case we're going to use 16 kilos, and we're going to test her to see where she can do 10 to 20 reps so we can kind of get a judgment of how strong she is. Then we can define the progression. So as the athlete starts the repetitions, it's very important to, under, to see that she's doing the exercise right, which you see the form is perfect. She's not having any kind of break in the form. The movement's going right. She'll get to a point, and we'll judge a point around 10, between 10 and 20 repetitions where that's around the strength range we're looking for. Now you'll start to see as she starts to get tired, and this is what you have to do as a trainer, things are starting to happen. You're seeing her hips are kicking a little bit, okay? She as an athlete is going to start to do, continue to do the exercise. But as the coach, what I want to do is, now when I see a slow movement like that, and now she's starting to jerk at the movement a little bit, that's where the repetition test stops. Now we're done with the test because she'll do more reps, but now the muscle's giving out, and now this is where we can define the progression at the best position at. And this is how we do all repetition tests. The repetition test is the same thing we can do with the side of the hip. The athlete starts the exercise during her previous training. We figured out about what she can do 10 to 20 reps with. Now you'll see she's doing the motion, full range of motion, all the way up and all the way down. But what we're looking for as the coach is, when she starts to get tired, what she's going to do is the body is going to automatically start to shift. And it's going to start to move the hips backwards to try to make the weight easier. Now you'll see her hips are moving back, and that's when we start stop the tests. The test stops when the athlete breaks form.